subscribe, subscribe. What's up, squad? <laughs> Do you guys like that? Do you like it? Do you like that? What's up, squad? I think it sounds cool. Let me know if you guys like it. Anyways, what's up, squad? <laughs> welcome back to another exciting video, Doing Life with Cece. Um, welcome to episode three of All Things Natural 101. Um, today, we'll be talking about the do's and don'ts of natural hair. It'll be a very short video, but it'll be very informative, short, straight to the point. Um, Buckle up and let's just get right into the video. Um, number one is water. Make sure that you spray your hair with water and you also drink water water you need to drink at least two liters of water every day it's not just good for your hair but it's also good for your skin number two yeah, the products you use do matter make sure that uh, when you use the products that you don't just hop from one shop to another trying out all these natural hair products you can do that at the start of your natural hair journey to try to figure out which products best work for your hair but then after a while try to stick to um, the products at work and you can go to back to episode one of this series and you can check out uh, your hair type and which products best work for you that might help you when deciding which products work best for you and um, another thing while we're still under products it is so important that you guys deep condition i never used to deep condition what i used to do is i would just take conditioner and then i would keep it in for long and i thought that was deep conditioning I was wrong <laughs> and I actually started using actual deep conditioning products this year and they have really made a huge difference and I'm pretty sure they would make a difference in your your hair as well uh, number three is trims make sure you trim on a regular because um, the tips are the oldest part of your hair and if you hold on to it especially if it has split ends it'll travel all the way up and eventually you will have to cut off more than you would in the first place so make sure you trim your hair on a regular i can't tell you there's no formula as to how often you need to cut your hair you will know when to cut your hair um, i personally cut my hair at least twice a year uh, trim my hair every twice a year number four protective styling is key you need to make sure that you put your hair in a protective style um, and putting it in braids or putting it under a wig is not protecting it unless you actually take care of it while it's under the wig or in your braids so make sure that you have a um, a plan on how to take care of your hair while it is still in braids maybe you can comment down below and share some of the tips that you do to take care of your hair while it's in a protective style make sure you sleep with a satin or silk pillowcase um, you can go on instagram they sell it you can just type in silk bonnet um, or satin pillowcase Namibia. you will find a lot of people who sell it online make sure you get one i have both because sometimes i don't like to sleep with things on my head then i just sleep on the pillow uh, which is still protected so yes you can choose which one best works for you number six make sure you massage your hair often uh, it really helps with uh, retaining that length and i don't know how but it does number seven eat right what you put in is what you'll get out if you just eat junk food all the time chances are it'll show not just in your skin but also in your hair so try to make sure you put in you get in those greens um, try to make sure you eat a, a balanced diet where um, if you can and just stay away from um, fatty foods and so forth so for the don'ts um, number one is heat stay away from heat if you're trying to grow your hair um, and you apply heat often, chances are it'll just break because um, type 4 hair especially, um, it doesn't take heat well, it's not, it's prone to heat damage and, and once you have heat damage, it takes a long time for your hair to go back to its natural state. So just stay away from heat. If you really want to use heat, make sure you do your research before you use it and also use it once in a while, like once in a while I mean like twice a year or so it's really all up to you but it i've i've seen that once i've stopped using heat on my hair my hair has started to flourish uh number two is color stay away from 
putting in um, color in your hair it looks good yes but after a while you see the effects of it so before you decide on in putting in a color into your hair do your research and make an informed decision number three is combs stay away from combs if you can like just throw them away but if you can't make sure that you use a white tooth comb every time you comb your hair it breaks and that's why you can't retain the length because if you think about it if you have dreadlocks you don't comb your hair and it grows all the way long and our hair black hair does grow the only thing is that we don't retain we don't retain the length because growth does happen every single month but if you don't retain the length and take care of the hair that you already have you you won't see the the length that you actually want number four is tight hairstyles please do stay away from from tight hairstyles if you can ask your hairdresser to avoid um, tight hairstyles that cause tension on your scalp number six is shampoo the shampoo that you use does matter try to stay away from shampoos that are written sulfate as an ingredient um, rather use co-washes number six is bashing others we are all women and we're all beautiful and doesn't mean that if you have natural hair that your hair is more beautiful than someone who has relaxed hair i really am a firm believer that um whatever hair you have is beautiful and we're all made um fearfully and wonderfully in the image of god so no one person is better than the other because their hair has more volume or that it's longer everyone's hair is beautiful so stay away from bashing people who do not have natural hair it doesn't mean that if you're natural hair you have natural hair you're better than someone who has relaxed hair so number seven is do not compare your hair journey to other people you can definitely be inspired and, and get tips um, from people who have have natural hair that you feel like is looks similar to yours you can get inspired but do not compare it do not envy what other people have everyone's hair is beautiful it has its own pace so my pace might not be your pace Just make sure that you are confident in your hair and that you're confident in your own skin um, do not try to be like anyone else and just be content and happy with what you have take care of it and i assure you it will be healthy and it'll grow just the way it needs to grow at the pace it needs to grow as well so that was it for this video thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video if you liked it i'll definitely see you in the next video don't forget to ring the bell notification bell uh, so that you'll be notified every single time I upload a video thank you all for watching and have a great day bye